Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is the second chapter of creating human ear in Maya. We'll continue the creation of the human ear from where I left in the first chapter of Helix. So just select the <coughs> uh, inner edge of the Helix and just uh, I'll extrude them and like this and push it in a word so this will create the depthness of the uh, helix and now I have to adjust a few portions so that it will show the uh, depthness of the ear <coughs> like that fine just uh, okay now uh, what I have to do is uh, I'll just uh, uh, readjust or just readjust this uh, inner side and I have to close this area so I'll just extrude another edge and I'll just merge the vertices like this fine okay now we can proceed further and we'll create the uh, inner area like fossa triangularis and scaph area uh, for that I have to select the inner side of the helix I'll just select these three and we'll extrude them and this is the fossa triangularis area and I also select this uh, create this scapha area and I'll also continue to the uh, uh, anti helix area this one so I just uh, extrude just merge this for dices and I'll just push it uh, just merge and you just push it a uh, bit inwards so that <coughs> just readjusting I have to readjust a lot of vertex because it's such a complex uh, area now we'll, I will proceed to the lobule part this is the the most soft area of the ear. It's very fleshy and fat consisting. So this part is to just fine. Just more the vertices. Fine. Just to rearrange the vertex so that it will look good just uh, reshape according to the topology I have to maintain this topology very well so that uh, we can uh, understand the proceedings I am going to extrude and fill up this area uh, also this one Merge the vertices, just push it backwards, and that's it. So, <coughs> this is the overall uh, the, the outer side of the ear. I'll just give it a bulge, just make it a bit <coughs> fleshy. And now we move on to the uh, f filling this uh, inner side of the ear. So, <coughs> just select and extrude the edges. To give it a uh, depth because uh, this portion uh, needed a depth so this is uh, why we are actually extruding the edges just to reshape the inner edges and <coughs> we'll just uh, move this uh, back edges a bit uh, outside so that the shape of the uh, the outer outer edge looks uh, rounded or curvy so just move that uh, outer edge a bit inside very very little very little inside so that when you press 3 or use any smooth then the outer edge look uh, curvy though my app uh, create very uh, nice and smooth edges see this is this part look really curvy 
okay now I have to also walk for the other back portion uh, this part is looking nice here I want to walk okay fine uh, extension of the uh, ear just extrude these edges like the mods the vertices just extrude according to your need just push it a bit outside fine uh, and that's it now we're going to work on the conca area conca or concha whatever you say the spelling is actually c o n c h a so that uh, can be pronounced any conca or concha so this part i also fill up the other other areas also so this one is the conca area when you are uh, looking at any any kind of year as uh, we can understand that different year is actually uh, looks very different so uh, but the basic things are remain same the basic anatomical structures basic uh, anatomical uh, portions remain same so you need to understand what is going on and which part is actually uh, <coughs> called what because otherwise uh, you won't find uh, the completeness of your model because uh, without anatomical proper anatomical uh, knowledge you, you don't have to you don't be a doctor definitely but you should know the parts a bit so that it will help you to create a very uh, very nice looking models <coughs> even if you want to create uh, in any any kind of concept designs you need to understand these these factors this is very important so here is my conca area that is I'm creating and also I have to you know, move this inner side so that I can match these two edges with my requirement fine Uh, that's way. So now we can uh, fill up this area with uh, fill hole, and that's how. Now we can use the fill hole directly. So because this portion is the is the conca portion, which is the most important one, and you can, you can fill it up in any any way. Uh, in very arbitrary way because there is no deformation is going to happen over this area so you don't have to need to you know um, bother about the entire uh, muscle flow but yes definitely I will make the uh, edge flows properly so that my uh, model don't have it consist don't consist any kind of uh, triangles so just move it a bit that's it so we'll move on to the next chapter and we'll see much more details in the year portion hope you enjoyed the next chapter also thank you very much